Hi, this is Mike Batchelder again from Burning Hearts Ministries with the next installment of the 5-Minute Message. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the burning heart again and uh, some things about the burning heart. Obviously, the story of Jesus talking to those guys on the road to Emmaus where they were, this is after the resurrection and, and they were walking along and Jesus began to open the scriptures to them and then they went went to have supper with him and then all of a sudden the revelation came of who he was and then he was gone but they said to each other did not our heart burn within us while he, we walked with him along the way and he opened the scriptures to us there's a understanding that the Lord wants to give each one of us a burning heart uh, obviously this is the, the scripture that was the inspiration for us uh, to, to name our ministry burning heart hearts ministries because uh, uh, I really desire that people come into an understanding that it's not just uh, a, a nonchalant, average, run-of-the-mill walk with the Lord that we e each need to have, but it's it's a, a walk with Jesus that we burn with passion for Him. Uh, that's that's what we need to develop. And so, some, so there are some things we can do to help develop that relationship. One of the things we can do is seek and destroy lukewarmness in our life where our, our walk with God begins to drift from being passionate to kind of in that lukewarm phase. Uh, Jesus gave the exhortation in Revelations 3, 15 and 16, where he said he would even like to have us not warm at all, a cold, rather than being in that lukewarm place, because there's nothing we can do effective in that, at that place of lukewarmness. So we need to seek out lukewarmness and, and make sure, uh, like we said last time, be the, be the guardian of your own flame and make sure your walk with Jesus is as, is as close and passionate as possible. The next thing we can do is we need to understand that a burning heart is forged in the fires of brokenness. God is allowing certain things in your life. He wants you to know that He's with you. And in those that, that time of brokenness, it's, it's like the alabaster box. When the, when the breaking happened, then the, the fragrance was released and the oil was released. And we need to understand that brokenness really is that which qualifies you to operate in the anointing. There is something that God is doing in your heart, and it can't come any other way except that, that He allow an, er, uh, an area of brokenness. And I know this particular message offends people because they think Jesus is here to make sure everything is okay all the time. No, He's going to let you walk through some things. Like it says in Psalm 23, Lo, though I walk through the valley of sh the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil because you are with me. And so we, we, we understand that, that Jesus is going to walk through every hard thing with us, but there's also things that are going to allow us to, to come into a place of understanding, and then as we've walked through that with Him, we fall more in love with Him, and our heart burns with passion even more because of what He allowed us to go through with Him. And so understand that, that uh, the burning heart is forged in the fires of brokenness. And then the next thing we need to, to really attend to in the area of developing a burning heart is that we must have radical obedience by radical faith. We, we need to understand that every martyr that's ever been martyred as a martyr unto God, the thing that they, they had was a burning heart. The thing that they had was that they refused to disobey Him. They, they had to speak. And uh, it's the same for us today. It says in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean to your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your paths. The, the thing that gets in the way of, of radical obedience and radical faith more than anything is just our own understanding, our own ways of thinking. And we need to begin to, 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 to trade off our thoughts for His thoughts. And God wants to bring us into this, this thing where we, we can walk in radical faith. We can walk into faith that's beyond just ordinary. And our heart can burn for Him. And we can do great exploits for Him because of that which is the flame within us. So I really hope that your heart burns for Jesus. I hope you understand that there's nothing in this life. There's no cause. There's no good thing. There's no, no thing out there that you can, you can throw your life into. 
Uh, there's no thing that's, that's worth more of your life and worth more of your passion than your relationship with Jesus Christ. Because it's the only thing that's going to go on, not just through this life, but on into eternity. So I really, really hope that this has been a blessing to you. And uh, this is Mike, and we're just saying, see you next time.